So this is going to be a pretty typical Dollar Tree haul for me that I've been sharing every two to four weeks. Let's just say that. It's just I go when I feel like I need some stuff. Um, but I did get a few extra things just because we are going to be in the house for a couple weeks and I don't want to leave um, unless we really just need to. So let's get into another Dollar Tree haul. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I am sharing another Dollar Tree haul. And yes, this one is massive. When I go to the Dollar Tree, I stock up on things that I want um, slash need. Most of it is, are just things that I want. Sometimes it's needs that I go specifically to the Dollar Tree for. So this time I got some stuff for holidays. I got some stuff for my kids, which I normally do. The beauty section had a ton of new items and I love to try their stuff. So. I have a full bag of that. And I also got a few items. This might be the first time that I've spent more than a dollar on an item. I think I picked up one thing that was more than a dollar a couple months ago, maybe over the holidays, but the Dollar Tree, and I'm kicking myself for not taking pictures, but they are rebranding um, their Dollar Plus section. The poster boards that they have up and everything like that, the look of it looks completely different. Next time I go, I will take pictures for y'all and maybe share on my Instagram or something if it's before I post another, another haul for y'all. But it gave me like Target dollar spot vibes. Um, they had a bunch of home decor, which I didn't really need any right now. That's not what I was looking for. But I did get some stuff for my kids because that's the thing that like just gets me is things for my kids that are cheaper than other stores because <laughs> I like to have hands on things on hand. Anything to, they do watch their electronics and play video games and stuff like that. But if I can spend a few dollars on something hands on, a board game and an arts and crafts, I'm going to do it because I would rather them do that. And with us in the house, I did pick up some stuff. So before we get into me looking like this and this haul, I actually went right before our spring break just to pick up some stuff for the kids. And I'm going to pop in in that haul because that's what I was going to share with you guys today before I went back and stocked up on it even more to keep us <laughs> occupied and good. And then of course you go to the Dollar Tree and you find new stuff. So let's get into what I picked up right before spring break and then we'll come back here and you guys can see what I picked up in this specific haul. First up, I did get them each a necklace. Now, originally I just had these multicolored ones picked out for my daughter's rose and pearl. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what, what if my son says something and he's like, how come I don't have a necklace? So I got the just plain old blue. I knew he would not want the pink and the purple. So I got a blue one for him just in case. If he doesn't wear it, I'll go ahead and put it on. But I plan on putting these on them right when they get home from school Friday. That starts the spring break, break vacation. My kids love slime, putty, all of that stuff. I am really looking forward to when they don't anymore because it can get pretty messy. But I do have a rule in my house that when they're doing things like that, any kinds of arts and crafts activity, they have to do it on a tray. I picked up these big trays from, I think it's called Learning Express when they were babies and they've lasted since then. So several years, we still have the same trays. They don't look nice and bright and clean as they did when I bought them, but they still work fantastic. So if you guys have that kind of store, I'm sure I could find them on Amazon, the type that I have. I will link those down below if you guys want to check them out. But I found this reusable modeling foam beads and yes, it is an Easter egg and a bunny, but we shall see. I might hide these away and then if the kids are getting like a little bored or they just want something new to play with, I'll pull these out. But I'm going to go ahead and save them for their Easter baskets. And then like I said, if they need something, I'll pull them out for spring break instead. Okay, now these I did get specifically for spring break. I'm going to, in the vlog, you guys are going to see that I did like a set, I set up a table, our dining room table with a bunch of stuff for the kids so they can see everything that they have. And I kind of just spent some of the money that I was going to spend on our road trip on things for the kids. So I found these at the Dollar Tree and I had never seen them before. And again, they are like hands-on, like the Play-Doh type dough, almost like Play-Doh 
And these are called, these are by Crazy Art, so that's a name brand, Softy Dough, Super Soft Modeling Compound. And I got every single one that they had. So they had two in the Disney Junior Mini. So they have Daisy and Minnie Mouse, and it comes with two bright colors and then a mold to make the character. So I did get both of these for the girls. Then the other three are all from Disney movies. So they have two characters from Toy Story 4, and that is Woody and Bo, actually let me put her down, and Bo Peep. So I did get Bo Peep for the girls. Again, they each come with two colors and a mold. And then I got Woody for my son Bryce. I don't know if he's gonna want to play with this, but just in case this was the only boy figure that they had, so I went ahead and picked that up. And if he's not into it, I know my girls will be. And then they only had one character from Frozen 2, and that is Anna. I was really hoping they would have Elsa because my girls would love that. We could do like, if I, I'll keep checking occasionally, and if I find it, um, I'll pick it up. But I thought this would be great to do like a movie theme, like pop some popcorn, they can play with this while we have the movie on, that kind of thing. But I did not find Elsa, just Anna, and again, it's got the mold and two different colors in there. Okay, so I did not pick up very much for my oldest daughter. You guys are going to see, and in that vlog, I explained it in there too. So my oldest daughter is homeschooled. She does not go to a public school, and she actually just finished her year, and she's taking the whole month of March off instead of waiting until summer and starting... So instead of jumping right back into the next school year or taking like a three month break like public schools do, she's taking the month of March off and then she's starting her next school year. And that way she can just finish a little earlier and get started with her adult life. She's really looking forward to it. So I did not pick up a bunch of like little things. Obviously you buy more for your younger kids, right, than your older kids. So what her and I are gonna do is after this week, when the kids are back in school, her and I are gonna do a few activities. There's a movie out that we wanna go see. There's a couple restaurants that she wants to try. She wants to go ice skating. So we're gonna do things during the day while the younger kids are at school, and that way it's just her and I hanging out and getting some stuff done for her like summer break, and then she's gonna jump right back into her next school year. But I did find this, and I thought that she would like it and have some use for it in her room. She's doing a little organizing herself, some spring cleaning. And this was super cute. They did have another, I think they had another one that said something else on it, but I like this one. It says live happy. She does love the gold and the like live and the succulent type plant aspect and decor. So I know she's going to enjoy that. I might hang on to that bag for her Easter basket actually. We'll see. I need to check my bin and see how much I have for her already. Okay, I do have a couple odds and ends. I found these chapsticks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set this out for the girls because I already have a couple different options for their Easter baskets. But one of them is a raccoon, the other one is a cat. They did have a couple other ones and this is by LA Colors. The cat is a strawberry scent and the raccoon is a cotton candy scent. So I thought those are super cute and my girls are definitely getting into where they want to wear makeup, they think it's cool and I, kind of just go towards the lip balm for them <laughs> instead of like actual lipstick. They do have lipstick, but that's for inside. I allow them to take this when we're out and about. They have purses, they like to put this in and they just feel like they are growing up a little older than they are. You know, if you guys have girls, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, with the beauty products, I did find this really bright green nail polish that I went ahead and picked up to paint all of our nails for St. Patrick's Day. This one is LA Colors Color Craze. And do these have, it just says mint on it and then number 506. So I did go ahead and pick that up. I thought that would be fun to do. And also I am out of nail files and I really need to do my nails. So I picked up this four way nail buffer block and four way, it's got four different sides to it. It has a shine, a buff, a smooth, and then what's the fourth one? Let me go ahead and open it because it is for me to use. And I'll probably do that relatively soon. Oh, and shape, so, and they're labeled. So if you're not like really good at doing your nails like me, they tell you like step one, step two, step three, step four. And then another random item, I found this set of lunchbox notes. They came out with one right before in August, September, August, right before school started after summer last year. But I think it was pink. 
I'm pretty sure it was pink. I'm already out of them. They don't have much in it. There's 18 in here. I have three kids, so those go relatively fast. I'll show you the back. Some of them have prints on them, and then some of them are blank, so you can add your own message in there. My kids love these. I do not put one in every single day. I kind of just pick and choose, and that way it's a surprise for them, but they love it when they find the lunchbox note in there. Okay, my kids love chalk. So I got these for my son Bryce because I found some girlier ones for my girls, Rose and Pearl, at Five Below. So I picked these up for him because they did not have, I mean, he's getting out of like the Spider-Man and Minecraft type ones that they have out. So I just got him these plain ones. I got him the, what are, are they calling these anything? Just sidewalk chalk with holder, both of them. So this one's just a single holder which is very similar to what I picked up for the girls. And then this one holds three pieces, so he can color with all three at the same time. So I know he is going to enjoy that. Chalk does not last very long in my house. So for Bryce, this is going to sit out for him <laughs> for a spring break. I think his friends and himself are going to have a good time with this. It's probably gonna annoy the heck out of me though. Lordy. All right. It is by joking around ages five and up and it says litter rip sound machine. Pull tab on back. I made sure I got one with the tab in there so I know the battery is fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that. That way you guys can enjoy the sounds with me and we can prepare ourselves before we give it to our children. So let's see. I'm going to press the green one. Did you guys hear that? It's actually very low. It's not as loud as I thought, which is good. This is the purple one. Oh my gosh. Yellow white that was the orange one and then the blue one so there's six sounds they're all they all sound like out from behind so i know he is going to enjoy that this is something that i actually picked up to have on hand for when i am helping the girls with their math homework and if my son wants to use these he can also but they're really getting into math problems, subtracting, adding, and I know next year it's gonna be even worse. So I got these to help them. Sometimes with the bigger numbers, they need a minute, and I figured to have this on hand, something tangible, this is always how I like to learn, so we'll see if they like it. If not, it's always good to have different learning blocks on hand for them, but this is just a foam counting blocks set, and it has 50 in there, so that's nice. They can both use it at the same time if they need to. This is something else that I picked up for my oldest daughter, Paige. She loves avocados, so I am holding on to this for her Easter basket. And then I got this one for my son, Bryce, for his Easter basket. And these are both, I think they're both men's. Yeah, they, the Dollar Tree always comes out with really fun socks for men. So they're men's socks, but obviously anybody can wear them. So this one has paper airplane paper airplanes all over it. So it's just showing like that one. And then this one has the little lines on it to make it look like it's flying in the air. So I think my son Bryce would love that because he loves to make paper airplanes every single day when he comes home and he cleans out his backpack. He's got one or two in there. These are two fun items that I'm not packing away for Easter or setting out for spring break or anything like that. I'm just going to give these to the girls. I'm going to set them on the stairs. And I love when the Dollar Tree comes out with new hair accessories because, I mean, especially for my daughter Pearl. She loves to do her hair. And my daughter Rose is slowly dipping her toes in and she's been wearing some headbands here lately. So this one, can you guys tell? You get super, super close. There we go. It's fuzzy. How cute is that? So it's very, very thin, not a toy. I mean, if you have kids that like to pull on them, this is gonna break very easily. It's not plastic, but they still snap very easily. But this one is super fuzzy and soft, so I love that. And then this one is just wrapped in ribbon, but it has the little flowers on it. So I thought that was really cute. Another item that I picked up that is educational, but fun for us to do over spring break is I got a puzzle and it is of the USA. So it's a math puzzle. It's only 60 pieces, so hopefully this will be something that the kids won't get tired of and they'll be able to complete with me relatively quickly. And it also has the state capitals on there. I love how col colorful it is. And each state, yes, each state has a picture also that kind of goes with it. So I thought that was really, really fun. Just trying to make learning a little bit more fun. 
I also found these books for Rose and Pearl. I didn't see one that I thought my son Bryce would like. These are super cute. So one of them is Frozen. The other one is just some of the other princesses. And they are comic books, which I thought was fun. So this one's actually has several different stories in it, I think. Pretty sure it has different stories in it. But there you go. And it is by Disney. It says Disney Comics. So I thought that was something different to read instead of your, you know, typical story. And then this one is Frozen. So I think they'll like that. Again, just something different. Instead of just a regular chapter book or something like that, a comic would mix it up a little bit. Okay, I have purchased several of these and it's actually, I popped two, blowing them up the last time I bought these. But my kids love these punch balloons. So I picked up this one. It only has three in there. So for the three younger ones, one of them, one for each of them. And I love these colors. It's the blue, white, and green. They have a bunch of different ones that you can pick from. They have neon ones. They have like your classic color. So I just love those, pick those up. And then last but not least, we actually have a hot tub. Um, it does need to be hooked up still, but hopefully that will happen over spring break. <laughs> if not, I'm prepped for the summertime. So I went ahead and got some of their water toys and they have quite a good selection for not like your big floats and stuff like that that you can find at Walmart or Target, but they have little ones. So I got two beach balls. I got the lion because I know my daughter Rose is going to love that. I didn't get three because I didn't really see one that I thought Pearl would be like head over heels for. They can share. Then I got the shark one because I know Bryce would love that one. So two beach balls. Does it say how big they get on here? Um, one ball, 20 inches. So it's a good size beach ball. And then I got these because I thought the kids would get a kick out of it. So these are cup holders. They are inflatable cup holders. And of course, the second I saw the unicorn, I was like, yep, I need that. And then I was like, okay, well, I have to get one for Bryce and Pearl as well. So I did get the unicorn for Rose. And then I love the peacock. I thought that was really cute. So I got this one for Pearl. And then they didn't have like a shark or anything like that. So I just got the palm tree for Bryce. All right. So that's everything I picked up when I went right before a spring break. I did not find the little crazy art or I already forgot the brand of the Elsa dough, but the kids loved those. They played with those over spring break and they loved that dough with the little molds. They worked great. So let's get into what I picked up for this time. The new stuff, the more than a dollar stuff and the items that I wanted to pick up just to have while we are home for the next couple weeks. So we're gonna start with some arts and crafts items. All right, so I have my kids wear aprons whenever we do any kind of messy arts and crafts. Crayons, markers, no, but paints, slime, all of that stuff, they wear aprons. And the aprons that I have, we have had since they were about two, and my youngest are now seven. So the Dollar Tree has aprons out now. So I went ahead and got three and that way I can toss our old ones, which are pretty nasty. And then I'm assuming these are adult sizes. I mean, it says 20 inches. So hopefully these will last another several years for my kids and cover more on them. Now they had a few other colors. I think they had green and maybe another color, but I just picked up these three. I got the red, the blue, and the yellow. And these are by Crafter Square, which if you guys love arts and crafts, they are getting a bunch of stuff from this brand into the Dollar Tree. And then in my last haul, when I picked up those big tubs of paint, I said I was looking for more of the chunkier brushes, and I found those this time. My son actually has a science project that he is going to be working on. It, he was supposed to actually do it this weekend, but then once they closed the schools, I was like, all right, we'll wait a little bit longer and you can do it this week. Um, but who knows when he's going to be turning that in, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So I got the sponge brush set and then I got, these were the chunky brushes that I was looking for because they're just thicker. My kids love to paint with these. These are also by Crafters Square and they're just chunky brushes. They're just two different kinds of them. I found these poster markers for Bryce's project and they didn't have, I mean, it was hard for me to see how many different color options they had because it was just in a big bin. 
and I wasn't trying to sort through that whole thing and spend extra time, more time than I already do in the Dollar Tree. But these are by Twixy and they are the scented markers. So these are both two mega poster. It's got a chisel tip and they're scented. So two in one, double color, twice the scent. So I got these two different color combos that I saw. And then on the back, it shows you a picture of the scents. So it looks like a what bubble gum and fruit and then a chocolate and a cupcake, I think. So, or maybe black licorice and a cupcake, not chocolate. So I got those. I got one pack of highlighters in the Twixy two-in-one scented double color one. These are neon colors. So my girls, Rose and Pearl, they are in first grade. Every single week they bring home homework and their first sheet is that they have to highlight different words in it and we are slowly running out of highlighters like they are just all missing all of a sudden so when i saw these i was like all right we're gonna go ahead and do that now that schools are closed for a week two weeks who knows um i just wanted to have these on hand so we can still do things at home so these are super cute there's a rainbow and a unicorn on one and then it looks like i don't even know a panda bear and something else on the other one but i thought that was super cute and the scents on the back I'm not sure what that pink one's supposed to be, but it does show like a lemon candy, a lime, an orange, and then I don't know what that pink one is supposed to be. Some kind of ice cream or something. So I got those. And then I got the gel pens. So these are four bright, bold colors and scents, twin tip, again by Twixie, two in one, double the color, twice the scent. Is this bright, bold? scented gel pens yes I just wanted to make sure they weren't markers but these are pens my kids have been loving to draw and write sentences and things like that in journals <laughs> so I thought that they would enjoy these and being able to smell their pen so it says super smooth inks easy grip a triangle barrel four bright bold colors and then the pictures on the back are supposed to represent the scents I got some outdoor play. What? How fun is this? So I got a pack. Oh, there's not even a <laughs> tag on this one. So I bet they rang up one of these twice. So these are badminton rackets. They are pretty sturdy. These were the only two colors that I saw. The middle here, if you guys can see, uh, it's like neon colors. Super cute. I know my kids are going to have a good time with this. And then, of course, they needed the little, oh my gosh, what are these called? My mind is going blank right now. I'm sure somebody's telling me in the comments right now what these are called, but I got a pack of these. Okay, as far as we'll call this like home decor type stuff, I did get just a few things. First up, look at these coffee and notepads. I mean, this isn't really, this is more like office supply, not home decor, but I actually got these to just save and a van in my closet for gift giving in the future. I do not, I mean, I love these, but I do not need any more notepads. I have a bunch, <laughs> um, but these are super cute. So they, these are the only four different kinds that I could find and they're all coffee related. So we've got that one, that one, this one's cute. Coffee, please. It's like really, I hope it's not too dark this video because I have extra lights on in here, but it is a super gloomy day outside. So I got four of those, the four different ones that I could find. And then I also picked up these little like wall hanging plaque type things. And I got four of these as well because I thought I would make some kind of cute, like with a candle, something, especially if, if and when school goes back into session, I figured I would make an extra big like goodbye teacher been for, for this year. So I'm stocking up, up on some cute things and I thought these were super cute. So look at this one. Oh my gosh. These are just so cute. And for a dollar, these are perfect. Like Easter basket stuffers, gift stuffers, just something extra to put in there. So cute. Look at this one. Enjoy the ride. I love the colors on this one. And I'm not keeping any of these. I thought about picking an extra one or two up for me and then I was like, oh, I really don't. I don't need that right now, but look at that one. Oh, that's super cute. And then this one's really pretty. I mean, they're all gorgeous. 
So I got those just to have on hand for gift fillers. And then I found some totes. Now I don't pick up their totes too often because they are on the smaller side. They don't hold a lot. But these were mermaid themed and if you guys are new, my daughters have like a Jack and Jill bathroom. They have their own vanity sink area, but they share a toilet, linen closet, and shower tub combo. And that theme is in mermaid. So we've got some decor up on the wall and their shower curtain's super cute. So I figured I would pick these up just so they can separate some of their bathroom stuff in their cabinets and it would still go with the theme. Super cute and it was only a buck. And like I said, they don't need like, these aren't good for like massive toy storage and stuff. I just don't feel like they're big enough, but it says perfect for organizing dorm room, bedroom, closet, desk. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, there you go. So not super big, but big enough, but perfect for just a small amount of items. And it just says be a mermaid and make waves. Okay guys, so you should be seeing this on a Monday and tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. And I originally purchased some items for the kids to wear to school. I got some green nail polish to paint the girls' nails. I got um, little head pieces for the girls to wear to school and a tie for Bryce if he wanted to, my son Bryce. And now school is closed this week. So we're still gonna do this stuff at home. I have dinner planned, I have a fun little I say fun little, it's a pre-bought shamrock cookie, but I have a dessert for dinner tonight. Not every night do we have the dessert, so the kids are gonna be super pumped for that. But I did pick up just a couple items to celebrate a little bit more at home, make it fun for the kids. So I picked up four, one for each of my kids. I do have four children, um, if you're new. And these are the Goofy Strings. Now, we picked these up last year, during the summertime maybe, and they don't work the best, <laughs> but I was like, I just want something fun and we'll see. Maybe they've changed it up. Maybe it works a little better now, but I did just get four of the green. And yes, we are gonna do this in the house because I feel like it's easier to pick it up in the house than it is outside in the backyard. And we have dogs and my dogs like to eat everything in sight when it's in the backyard. They feel like that's their domain and anything back there they're going to eat. Oh, Lordy. So we're gonna do this in the house and hopefully it doesn't like stain anything. You guys let me know, cause this is going out before we're gonna use them. So you let me know what you think of the Goofy string, but I did pick this up just for something fun for us to do. So I got a green tablecloth just to put on the table for dinner. I might print out some activity sheets if I can find some online, I'm sure I can and the kids will do like an activity or something and the goofy string. So we're just gonna have a fun little St. Patrick's Day. Okay, I found a few things for my son Bryce. The Dollar Tree is overwhelmed with girly items, like for your little girl, arts and crafts, toys, all that stuff. Whereas Bryce is getting a little bit over the Dollar Tree items. <laughs> and then my daughter Paige, who is gonna be 16 in a few months, is I rarely buy her anything there anymore. Um, but I did find a few things that I thought my son would like. And some of the stuff I think I am going to pull out for this week while they're home off of school. And I might go through my bin and decide on Easter basket stuff also. I still need to go through everything and make a decision on what's going where. So I saw these chattering teeth and I thought that that would be funny. It's going to annoy the heck out of me, I know it. <laughs> but I thought he would get a kick out of it. I'm not gonna turn it on and show it to you guys because it is very, very annoying. My husband was with me in the store and he turned it on and I was like, oh my gosh, do I really want to get that for Bryce? Obviously, yes, we came home with it. Then he does love Pokemon. He collects cards. He trades cards with his friends at school. So I got him two new packages of those. I love finding these kinds of things at the Dollar Tree because if you buy these at Target or Walmart, they're not a dollar. They're upwards. I mean, they could, the blind bags, some blind bags are like $10. That is crazy to me. So I love finding things like this at the Dollar Tree. So I got a, I got two different, it's the same thing, Sun and Moon Forbidden Light, but they have two different pictures on it. So I'm hoping that there are different cards in there. And then I saw this secret agent, secret code playset. Without glasses message reads, with decoder glasses message reads. So I thought this would be super fun for Bryce to do. And on the back, it comes with a decoder pad, a decoder filter, and four colored pens. For the girls, I found this, and I think they're gonna have a fun time making these. They are unicorn tiaras. It includes three adjustable tiaras, one sheet of stickers, and one sheet of holographic stickers. 
So I think this will be fun and that it the fact that it comes with three, I thought this would be something fun for me to do with them or they could like make mine for me and then make their own. So I thought it was cute. Oh, and it has 52 stickers total on the two sheets that are in here. So I thought that that would be something fun for them to do. And then these, what, how fun is this? And this is obviously not something, this is like a weekend thing, not something that they can do during the week. They can't go to school with these tattoos on their face, whereas if they had like the little tattoo, temporary tattoos on their body, they could go to school. So I figured now is the perfect time to pick up something like this. This would be fun. They had a ton more than what I picked up, but as I started picking up and I was like, oh, I'm going to get every single kind. And then I was like, no, there's way too many. So let me show you. I actually got two that have little girls on the front and it says 14 glitter tattoos. I don't know if it's just this one and there's several in there or maybe two of each. I need to open it and see, but on the back it says there's seven for one face piece, but there's 14 in here. So maybe there's two of each, but I did get this one. This one says 12. So I got that. Yeah, it doesn't say, all right, let me just, let me open up this one and see if there's two of each. Cause this one, it says 12, but there's six for this one set, this rainbow set. I'm just wondering if there's two. Okay. Yeah. So there's two of each one in here. So those are the only two girl ones that I saw. And then the other ones have boy faces on them, but they're just a mixture of animals and everything. So this one is a shark. Then we've got a tiger. I know my daughter Rose is going to love this one. Here's a snake. And then this one is the uh, bumblebee. So if my kids really like these and the next time I go to the Dollar Tree, if they still have them and they have the other ones, cause they had a ton of different options. I just, I started picking them up and then I was like, that's enough. <laughs> so if they really enjoy those and I see the more, the different ones next time, I'm definitely going to pick them up. So I did pick a few things for Easter. I was trying to hold off but I know the Dollar Tree sells out of things quickly and these were things that I knew that I really wanted to get for the kids. I need to go through my bin, like I said, and go through everything. If you guys want to see a what's in my kids Easter basket, I did one. Did I do one last year? I think I did one the past two years. So if you guys are curious and you want to see that, if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and maybe that's something that I will film because I've been getting away from sharing those things because my kids are getting older. They tell their kids their mom has a YouTube channel. They watch and I don't want the surprise or anything like that to be ruined for them. So I've been shying away from that. I didn't do it for Christmas time. So we'll see. But with the schools being shut down, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys are interested in it, let me know and I will think about it. But I got these Lifesaver Heart Lifesavers Hard Candy in the spring mix. These are going to go into little eggs in their basket. So this is raspberry, pineapple, and watermelon. I know my kids are going to enjoy those. It is a pretty small bag, so they're not gonna get a bunch, but this is the perfect size to split up between the kids. And I'm pretty sure my oldest daughter who is living a vegan lifestyle right now, I'm sure she can have these as well. I will double check with her on this bag. I picked these up last year and I'm pretty sure I still have them in my bin, but just in case I wanted to go ahead and get another pack and there's only four in here. So that's perfect. I have four children and if I do still have the ones from last year, I'll be able to use two in each of their bags, but they're super cute. They're treat sacks. They come with a little burlap tie. They look like bunnies. Super cute. And then as far as eggs, I just picked up three different kinds. These are just like a holographic, really shiny set of eggs. So this one has six in it. Then of course, mermaid theme, the shells. <laughs> I picked up this one. I'll probably put these just in the girls and not in Bryce's. So maybe two each in Rose and Pearls and one in Pages because there's only five of these. They did not have these in different color, just the pearl, but I thought that those were, those were really pretty. And then these ones, there's four. So I will split this between my four, my four kids and they're a pretty good size of these little Easter bunnies. So I thought that those were super cute. I did get two reusable spray bottles just in case I make my own vinegar spray for like the doorknobs and stuff because that's something that I, I have one container of 
disinfectant spray. I have a bunch of Clorox wipes, but as far as the spray, I only have one container and I was looking at the stores, they're already completely wiped. So I was like, you know what, I can make my own. I've got vinegar at home. I do have bleach at home. There's tons of like things online showing you how to make your own homemade cleaners. So I went ahead and got two spray bottles just in case I feel the need to make something. If I run out of anything, I can just make my own. I got these two items because I found something at the Target dollar spot and I don't think I've shared it in any video. I haven't done a Target dollar spot haul in forever because I only pick up like one or two things here and there. My target, my target, my local target now, I feel like it's never stopped. I never find like a good enough amount of items, like no more than like three items at a time. So anyway, let me show you that first. This is what I found at the Target dollar spot and it's supposed to be gloomy all this week. So I don't think that we will start it this week. Maybe once the sun decides to come out, but this week is supposed to be really rainy and gloomy and all of that. So as far as growing anything, I don't think it's gonna work. But this is a one set, five bags, 10 suction cup hooks, a plant science activity seedling bag. So what you do is you add dirt, plant a seed and watch it grow, hang on your window and enjoy. So I thought that they would absolutely love that. So I went and got a seed starting potting mix so they can put a little bit of that in their bag and then I just got a wildflower blend so that way they don't know what's going to grow they just have to keep an eye on it and see what flower pops up so I think hopefully that this works but if it does I know they're really going to enjoy that okay before we get into I've got three piles left <laughs> one bag full of like beauty stuff and then another bag of some I guess educational slash homeschool items that I picked up for the kids to do over the next couple weeks but first I'm going to show you guys the items that I got that I paid more than a dollar for. So I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have a price on it. So I'm going to say it was three or five dollars. I'm going to say five dollars based on the other things that I got. But how cute is that? So this is by Bella Villa Living and it is three piece shaped hook set. This was the only one I'm really surprised that they didn't have like mermaid unicorn rocket ship because those are the themes that are going around the Dollar Tree in other areas but I did find the llamas and I know that my daughter Pearl is going to absolutely love these so we're gonna hang these up at her room maybe for her purses or something so I thought that was super cute then I got two makeup kits and I am going to probably hide these away for their Easter baskets like I said I need to go through my bin and see everything that I have and make a decision but either we'll pull it out this week next week while the kids are off of school and just have like a spa day or I'll save these for the Easter baskets but these were five dollars each so this one is Llama Stay Total Beauty Collection the set includes an eyeshadow palette nail polishes lip gloss nail file and toe separators how cute is that oh my gosh and the eyeshadow palette is super sparkly so my daughter pearl is going to get a kick out of that now they are not allowed my two younger daughters are not allowed to wear like a full face of makeup outside the house they can wear lip gloss and that's it but when they're inside we play around and i thought that this was super cute then for my daughter rose i got the mermaid so this is mermaid makeup collection 11 piece set includes two color eyeshadow palettes a super shine lip gloss wand, three glitz nail polishes, nail files, two toe separators, and three glittery gloss pots. Glittery gloss pots. Oh, okay, so these right here. So I thought that that was cute too. And of course they can share and all of that if they want to, but I know that they are going to love seeing these. And we love games constantly playing games and to find one for five bucks I thought that this would be fun I know my son will hopefully get a kick out of it as long as it's a good game and easy to play not frustrating some of these that have like moving pieces can get frustrating but this is called Sharky's Diner fast chomping action take Sharky's meal before his jaw snaps snaps shut and this was five dollars it's by Alex Brands it says four four years and up two to four players so I thought that would be cute. On the back here, it kind of shows you it in action there. So those are the items that I picked up that were more than a dollar. We're gonna get into some school supplies. I got this index card box. 
does it say like how many fit in here? It doesn't, but it's a bunch. <laughs> it's a really good size. So I got this to hold these and I actually have a lot of flashcards. I have like word flashcards and all of that, but some of them are for like pre-K kindergarten. I need to go through our stash. I have some math ones. I actually got a couple more I'm gonna show you guys. But now that the girls are getting older, they are popcorn words, they already know those. So I figured we would start working on bigger words, more letters, all of that. I did get two packs just to have on hand in case I like mess up or something and I need more, but each pack has 200 in it. So this is gonna last me a long time but my kids are still in elementary school so this will last we'll use it I know it we can use it for math problems anything like that just a quick memorization flashcards are great for memorizing things like that and speaking of flashcards I was trying to find some multiplication ones but I actually ended up finding those at HEB that's one reason why I bought the index cards Mark and I my husband were gonna make multiplication cards for our son Bryce but then we found some <laughs> but that's okay it's gonna be nice to have that on hand I did find division ones though so this is 0 to 12 flashcards division. So that is what my son, he is in third grade. So that's what he's working on right now. We want to continue working with him on that. Then I found these and I thought that these were fun or had the potential to be fun with the kids. They're called Brain Busters Card Games. Do they all have 31? They all have 31 cards in it. And it's just a bunch of trivia questions and in different subjects. So I got one. I got one in every one that I could find. I don't know if they have more, but this one is nature. And it just says, I'll read the back of one of them. Brain Busters is a card game packed with fun trivia questions designed for kids or even adults to test their knowledge about the variety of cool subjects. With over 150 trivia questions, Brain Busters provides hours of entertainment, active learning, and a lot of fun. The perfect game to play at home, on the road, or in the classroom. Easy to follow instructions included. So I got nature, dinosaurs, environment, human body, ocean life, and pets. So hopefully that'll be something fun slash educational to do with the kids. Okay, this isn't really educational. I probably should have put this in like the arts and crafts slash section, but I found two coloring activity books for the girls. They love this kind of thing and they'll do it for hours. I mean, they will just sit down and color and chat for hours. So this one is a mermaid sticker and activity book. It's by Ground Jewels Kids. So there's some of the activities. Let's see if I can find, there's some more. Where's the stickers? The stickers are in the front. There's some of the stickers right there. So that is Mermaid and then they do have Unicorn as well. So I got the Unicorn, there's the stickers and there's some of the inside pages. Then I did get some workbooks as well, just a few, just to help a little bit. I got a first grade edition, first grade subtraction, first grade reading workbook. And that one is like reading workbook in friend in space. And this one is reading workbook and it says friends. Although the inside isn't really themed around well that one is not themed around space i already put it on the floor so but whatever and then i got a division one for my son so that way he can actually write out questions and answers and things like that instead of just having the flashcards. so i got that for him and this is yeah third grade common core division i went ahead and picked up this inflatable globe my son does have a globe in his room that he loves to just look and find all the countries and everything but i thought it would be really fun to have this one um, anything to make learning like disguise it into a fun activity is just the way to go with my kids um, so I got this inflatable globe it says 11.5 inches and I thought this would just be fun to toss around maybe make a game out of it say a country toss it to a kid see how fast they can find that country that kind of thing so went ahead and got that and then I found just a few books I got one for all three of my kids my younger kids I thought that this would be something that I could read to them maybe a chapter every day. It's called Wonder Park. I'm pretty sure, is this a movie? The movie novel. I'm pretty sure this is a movie, but we have not seen it. It says includes eight pages of color photos. Are they in the middle? Yes. So here's some of the pictures in there, but I thought that this would be a good chapter book to read to the kids. And if this one has an original price, 
it's probably covered up by the sticker on the back. I picked up a book for myself. This one is called Admissions of an Untidy Life, Housebroken by Lori Nataro. Um, it looked different on the model, is what it says down there. This one looked like a really good read. Again, the price on this is probably covered by the sticker. And the sticker came right off. So this retails for $17, but I did go ahead and pick that up. I thought that that would be a fun read. And I found a book for my daughter Paige. So she is really into crime. CS, she's watching a lot of those like CSI shows on Netflix right now. Um, she actually just finished her school year. So she has a month off and she still has to like wake up and go to bed at a semi decent hour for a almost 16 year old. But she's watching some shows right now <laughs> and she's really into it. She actually asked for some like criminal psychology books for Christmas and all of that. So that's really where her, she's going right now, heading towards for her future job, career. Um, so I picked this up and I thought that she would be interested in it. It's Conviction, a novel by Julia Dahl. I, I think that's how you say her last name. But this is a hardcover. I love when I find like these expensive books for a dollar. I think it's a great deal. This retails for $25.99 and hopefully she will enjoy reading that. Okay, now I have an overflowing bag of beauty items. So let's go ahead and go through these. I picked up a few things for like everybody but Bryce <laughs> and my husband for all of us girls. So my daughter Paige is really into like charcoal items right now. So I picked up this two pack of charcoal infused bristles. They are eco-friendly, a cornstarch handle by Dental Guru. So I went ahead and picked that up. We do use electric toothbrushes, but I thought maybe like if we run out of batteries or anything like that, that it would be nice to have just plain toothbrushes on hand. So I got that for her. There's a couple other things in here also. I did not separate the beauty stuff. Here, here they are. So I found this and I, she does have braces. So she might have to wait until she gets her braces off. I think she has about maybe six months left, but this is the Ultimate White by Brush Buddies also. And it is, here we go, Ultimate White Charcoal Powder. So I picked that up for her because like I said, she's really interested in all these charcoal products. And then this is a charcoal soap and sponge in one infused with charcoal for deep exfoliation and skin detox. And this is by Spa April Bath and Shower. I actually found, oh my gosh, so much beauty stuff. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I figured for a dollar, I will try it. It is a facial hair remover. Easily removes unwanted facial hair, works on your upper lip, cheeks, and chin. So I, I don't know if that's gonna work, but I thought that we would give it a try. Got some rubber bands for myself, some small ones in case I wanna do like a braid or something, or my hair is super thin, so the big chunky ones do not work. So I went ahead and got these clear ones for myself. There's 500 in here. And then I did get, let's try to find them. There they are at the bottom of the bag. I got the colorful ones for my girls for when I do braids in their hair and all of that stuff, but there's 750 in here and they're like all sorts of pastel colors. I picked up some makeup. I do not typically wear makeup, but when I was looking at the section and my little girls are starting to ask to wear makeup, I figured I'll start dabbling in it a little bit and that way I can help teach them how to apply makeup because I am no pro at all. So I did get quite a few things. This is by e.l.f. and it is a highlighting pearl paint. So we'll see about that. And if anything that I don't think I'm going to use, I know my oldest daughter will use it for sure. Like some of these colors are a little dark for me. So let me show you the other e.l.f. item. I, I might have some more items in here, but these were the ones that were on top. This is an eye, eyeshadow palette. It's called Flawless Eyeshadow. I love these colors. This is Blushing Beauty, and it's got a base lid, crease line, and a small little mirror in there. So I went ahead and picked that up, because like I said, if, I'm, if I wear makeup, it's definitely more of a neutral look. My husband and I do go out once a month. We have a date night out. My parents keep my kids, our kids overnight and we just get some one-on-one -on -one time once a month, which is amazing. Very thankful to have that. Um, but I don't do anything special. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start doing something a little ex extra special. Wear a little extra color, dress up a little bit instead of like my typical jeans, t-shirt and flip-flops. I don't know. <laughs> so that's kind of where I was going. 
with some of these colors, but we'll see. All right, this one is I'm Getting Sunburned by Wet n Wild. So that one's okay. That one's not too crazy. It's got a little bit of a really bright pink there, but still like in that neutral base tone, just taking it to the next step. But then we got this one <laughs> by Wet n Wild. Oh, what's this one called? Spoiled Brat. So, oh, and these ones have three. So brow bone, crease, and eyelid. This one is definitely like, I'm going out. It's date night something. I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare. Because of the gloominess, I think I already said how gloomy it is. I have an extra light right here and it is bright and it is making me sweat. Okay, this one I have been wearing for several days now. You guys have actually seen me with makeup on like this in two videos and I've got a couple comments um, asking what I have on. This is what I have on. So I'm really glad that you guys are liking it and you think it looks good because I'm liking it. This one's called Walking on Eggshells. Again, wet and wild, brow bone, crease, and eyelid. And it is just super neutral. So it just gives my eyes a little shine. I actually have it on right now, but it is towards the end of the day and I've had it on for several hours and I do not have a, like a primer on. So I know that that's like a thing. You're supposed to wear a primer if you want your makeup to last, but I don't own a primer. Then I found this one by Hard Candy. A lot of people are raving about, I know nothing about brands in makeup or anything like that, but a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Hard Candy is at the Dollar Tree. Try to find it. This was the only item I found in Hard Candy. And this is a Mod Quad Baked Eyeshadow smoke and mirrors and it has four colors so for like a smoky eye i have no idea how to do a smoky eye so i'm definitely gonna have to look up some like youtube tutorial for this but i went ahead and picked that up to give a try as well okay i got several different masks and typically i buy two of each kind this time i opted not to because i do have a pretty good stash of masks um, I go through phases where I use one every single week and then I don't for a while. So I probably have like six. And then I know my oldest daughter, who I typically buy the extras for, has some as well. So there's one that I bought two of and the rest I just bought one of and I will just put in my stash and we'll share them. Um, but the one that I bought two of is by Garnier Fructis, which is a name brand and it has active fruit protein in it. And it's called a, oh, there's two steps. So a wonder mask and a paraben free, and a paraben free wonder mask. Well, on the front, it says step one, rich repairing mask, apply on links, do not rinse. Step two says paraben free. Uh, it's a care sealer. So apply directly after step one. So I went ahead and got two of those and it says long lasting repairing hair system up to four washes. So I went ahead and got two of these. These are also things that I love to throw in baskets when I'm creating something for, mainly for the teachers, but if I'm doing some kind of gift basket for somebody else, if I'm going somewhere, or like right when we moved in, our neighbors brought over like cookies and stuff like that, and I sent them like a little care basket, and they really enjoyed that. That was a really quick way to get to know our neighbors, which was awesome. So I love to have these kinds of things on hand to throw into stuff like that. All right. The next ones, let's do these ones. These are ones that I thought my oldest daughter would enjoy. I might put these in her Easter basket, but they are Stardust with Glitter, brightening and hydrating and then a soothing. They are peel off mask treatments. So this purple one, oh, by Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. The purple one is Amethyst and Superberry Complex for intense glow and hydration. The green one is Tea Tree Herbs Complex and Nephrite, Nephrite for a soothing and clarifying complexion. So went ahead and picked up those for her. These are for me. I love foot masks and I don't buy them enough. Like I love doing these. They, they all, every single kind that I've tried works, makes my feet feel super soft for a good week. So these are spa, April bath and shower. I got the foot mask and then they had a hand and nail gloves. So I got that as well. Okay, and then more April bath and shower. I think most of the stuff, the, uh, April bath and shower, like I didn't even pick up everything that I saw. I got a lot in the beauty section, but they had a ton more. So I just picked up the things that I know that we will use at some point. So these are both by April Spa bath and shower again. And these are both two step face mask. Nope, facial cleanser and then a face mask. So this green and black one, step one is a green tea facial cleanser and step two is an activated charcoal face mask. I'll probably give this to Paige since it's got the charcoal in it. 
but I went ahead and got that one. And then this one is a cucumber exfoliating scrub. I love cucumber. And then a pink grapefruit clay mask. So I will use that one. But I thought that was cool. I love these like two, two step ones. All right, I went ahead and picked up the, the Bolero shampoo and conditioner. I feel like I've seen a difference in opinions on these. And the last ones that I picked up, they work okay. The shampoo does not foam like super good, but I feel like this is great too if you are making some kind of donation bag or um, it, any kind of gift bag. The packaging is so pretty. It was a dollar and it works okay. So I went ahead and picked this up just to have on hand, just in case for some reason I'm not keeping track and we run out and my kids need some shampoo and conditioner. I thought the girls would really like these and I feel like they are gonna smell really good. I did not open them to smell them, but this one, oh, they're just so pretty. This is the Sweet Almond and Honey Mighty Moisture Shampoo Hydrate and Replenish and it's the same thing in the conditioner. So I got those, like how pretty is that? I don't know, the packaging gets me half the time on this stuff. Then I got the Mango Butter and Papaya Hair Repair Shampoo Revitalize and Enrich. And then the same thing in the conditioner. So also if my oldest daughter Paige wants to try these out, she can keep these in her bathroom as well. All right, I don't know about this. We'll see if this works, but this is by Bodycology a coconut hibiscus bubble bath bar. I know that there's different ones, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw Lisa over at Pookie's View. I think she hauled like three different colors. This is the only one that I found, but it says crumble under running water for fun fragranced bubbles. So you might get more than one bath out of here. Just crumble maybe a third of it. Maybe you get three baths out of this. So it just says sprinkle a little magic into your bath with a Bodycology bubble bath bar. Each bar delivers luxuriously fragranced bubbles and a little added fun. So I went ahead and picked that up. It smells good. You can smell it through the package. It smells like a really good like florally bath. Very nice and relaxing. So hopefully that works. Then this is something that I go to the Dollar Tree for whenever we are low. Um, I feel like it's a great bang for your buck. I think it's very price comparable. The ones that you can get at Walmart, it's just a few cents cheaper at the Dollar Tree. And I go to the Dollar Tree once, at least once a month anyway. So I go ahead and get a couple bags, get a couple bags of them. And it's just the placards for kids and infants. Now they did change, they've been changing the bags here lately. I feel like this is a third change that they've done in the past year and a half. And it used to be smoothie flavored and now it's mixed berry, but they upped it also. It used to be 30 and now there's 40 in here. So I got 80, so divided by three, because my three younger kids use these, that's how long it'll last. I'm not doing that quick math in my head. All right, and then I picked up a variety of lip balms because, or lip gloss, lip balm, these are all lip balm, lip balms, um, because this is what I allow my girls to wear out. They like to keep it in their backpack, in their purses, in their pockets. They feel, much older than they are, <laughs> very special, when I let them take the lip balm out of the house. So I went ahead and got a couple different ones that I saw. These ones, I think I'll just hold on to or just give to the girls at a random time. It is a cat unicorn mermaid, all in one, and it is strawberry scented. How cute is that? And then this one is rainbow and it is cherry scented. So I did pick those up just as extras to have on hand. And they have peep ones that I thought would be super cute to add to their Easter basket. So I actually got my oldest daughter a different type of one. I think it's the Love and Beauty brand from Target. But I did get the younger three, the peeps ones, because they love peeps and I think they'll get a kick out of seeing that it's a lip gloss. So I got the strawberry marshmallow and the cotton candy marshmallow cream for Rose and Pearl. I don't know, it's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna put one into each of their bags. This one I got for Bryce just because it's the blue and yellow and this is vanilla marshmallow cream. All right, y'all, I'm sure that this video is over an hour because I got a lot of stuff like I do every couple weeks to share with you guys, but give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy seeing what I found at my Dollar Tree. This haul was all, if you guys are in San Antonio, there's two Dollar Trees on San Pedro. Actually, I think a third one just opened in between the two that I normally go to. But I got all of this stuff at both of those. It was two different trips. One of them was the smaller one. 
the one that I inserted, that's from the smaller one on San Pedro, and then this one was from the big one. That takes you like an hour to walk through the store if you go through every single <laughs> lane, which I do, I know. So if you guys enjoy seeing these, give this video a big thumbs up and I will continue to share them. But I definitely feel like we are stocked up and I think my husband and I are going to do a like super low slash no spend in April. So we're going to really utilize what we've got, clean out some stuff going forward, meal prepping, all of that good stuff. So if you guys are inter interested in that, definitely press the bell next to the subscription button so you're notified every time I upload. And if you guys are looking for anything specific in a low spend, no spend month, let me know exactly what you guys would be curious in seeing because we are definitely stocked up and we're going into this season where we don't know what's going to happen and I want to share how we are doing with that, how we're preparing, how like what we're doing at home, how we're making our meals last and all of that stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know down below. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys are staying safe, loving on your family and having a good time during this break in your house and I will see you guys in the next video.